Welcome in guys to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. This your boy Just Call Me Tex. And you know what time it is? It is time for the tier list. So let's go ahead and go over what the tier list is going to look like this time. I've added a couple of new additions here, such as Faction Assault um, into the tier list and some new players that I think that um, if you're new to RTS, you might want to go ahead and get your hands on. Um, so this part right here is the legacy tunes. These are the tunes within the Walking Dead Road to Survival that, um, you know, you can use them, but they're not going to be um, such a great use uh, because there are newer tunes who have come into the game and these guys have pretty much fallen out of rotation. So in RTS, there are such things called power creeps and, you know, more tunes come out, the stronger they get. And some of these guys just cannot compete in the arena, but in their heyday, they were good. So these are pretty much the legacy tunes that you want to, uh, you know, kind of used for like level up or something of that nature but these guys are not going to be on the forefront of your main rousters now on the next tier list here is the new tunes to get okay so if you are a new player to the game these are tunes that you want to get your hands on some of them like ajax may be a little bit harder to come by but he is a devastating blow tune which is going to help with all the massive massive bonus hp that goes on within road to survival so you definitely want to get him on this list we have andrea um she is a good burn tune if you're just starting out you can kind of set up a nice little burn team and she will be able to do fighter starter to help um burn some of these guys down you have angel who is a level one good defensive tune we have ash ezekiel is still a level one um, leader if you're new into the game gentlemen can one shot some of the uh less stronger teams glenn is going to give ap to tunes harper is a good um green tune leader and then we have headless herschel who normalizes thanksgiving ty um who can do a lot of damage ivanova who absolutely slaps and when somebody dies she gets ap so she can kind of rush every turn if you're new to the game ivanova is going to help out jackie who is a new world order leader pair her well with the gentleman um and i believe she does confuse for a, a turn or stun um I believe that's what uh, Jackie does, but she's a, um, a a good leader there. You definitely want to go ahead and get your hands on her because she can help out in a new game. Um, Gia Fang, um, she stops uh, bleed for one turn if she's on a defensive team, so that could kind of help out against a burn and bleed um, stack that is going against you. Kyle does Guardian Shield. He's pretty good, and he has some control. Kapoor, nice little tank. He is in the War Store. The War Store is not up right now, but when it comes back around, if you are a newer person to the game, um, you might want to add him to your um, catalog. Kenny, number one hitter on this list right here. He is the hitter of all hitters, especially for newer players. He can pretty much take out a whole offense by itself. It's very strong. Lady Z is gonna boost Kenny because she gets 15% boost to all red tunes. So, and she has control where she does um, some days and a couple of other things within her kit. She is very good there. So you definitely wanna go ahead and get your hands on um, Lady Z because she could be able to help out the new players in the beginning of the game. I'm um, pairing her with Kenny. Then we have two, I mean, we have a, a, a list of four assassins right here who are very strong. Arav is very strong. Um, he blocks uh, reflect damage and he hits like a tank. Lydia, she slaps the original slap tastical. She is very good. Um, Lydia is still good to a new player within RTS. Then we have Michonne who decaps. Decap is the name of the game. You definitely want to decap tune in this meta because revive is crazy so you definitely want to have some decap tunes michonne is there michonne 2000 she goes on a rampage killing a lot of stuff and on top of that she gives guardian shields mr jones day one tune mr jones will burn it down he gives like i think 15 or 10 000 burn um to your whole team once he rushes so he could definitely do some damage especially since offensive tunes do not have a bunch of um hp so we have Mr. Lou, which is infection. Then we have Skeleton Steve. If you attack Skeleton Steve, he can confuse somebody else on your team. I've seen it where he absolutely annihilated 
um, teams because of that confuse that can spread. Pamela Milton, a good, a strong, and red team leader. We have Tara, who helps fight against burn and bleed. She's a good um, new player, offensively, um, defensive leader. I'm sorry about that. Then we have Veronica, Scotsman, Ajax, and Mateo, who has neutralized and can do some decent amount of damage. This rounds out the new tunes to get. Not saying that you can't get anybody else, but if you're just coming into RTS, you're not spending money and stuff like that. You come across these guys, you want to hold on to them. Now, next on this list is my faction assault tunes. These are tunes that you definitely need for faction assault. Not saying you can't use them anywhere else, but you want to go ahead and get them for faction assault. Bruce, Carol, Dale, Dario, Eva, Isabel, Lori Grimes, Old Man Gregor, Razo, Rosita. And then we have Anniversary Rosita as well. And then we have Shiva, who just go ahead and continues to compile Burn and Bleed. And then we have Rhodey. Rhodey is a absolute must for Faction Assault because she burns it down. She's very, very good. And Rhodey is actually, I'm going to go ahead and say this, she is a S tier tune. Because you can put her on a burn team and she destroys. She's very good. And she slept on, but definitely want to go ahead and get your hands on Rhodey. She's in a gold mythic wheel. Next on this list, we have our B-ranked tombs. Okay. Now, what are these tombs? These are tombs that can assist with certain situations. And these are tombs that can be able to help um, on the offensive end and defensive end. So, for example, we have Morgan. All right. Morgan was... You know, in a past day, he could have been weak, but now we have Dr. Denise out who gives that 50% defense. And you can kind of put Morgan into a defensive team that can kind of boost him up because it's going to help him out on that end. And he has elusive, you know, he can be a really, really good tune um, in the right situation. So this is why I say like these guys can be added to the end. So for Comrade, Comrade is a good tune to be able to put in your war tower teams you know that's what you can be able to do there with conrad and then you have guys like claudio if you put him on a red team he uh gives normalized resistance for one turn so he's gonna help out your red tunes there okay roxy who is definitely due for an update she was in a war store she can be able to help out with a bunch of control and you have people who are like duck so you could soften up a tune with somebody and then duck could come in with the crosshairs and finish them off he's a nightmare and he still hits very hard and then you have somebody like preach who you know can be able to provide some control there for if you're going against a blue team you know so you have guys like that that can be able to help out so this is the b ranked tier list okay so we have beta beta does decap we have governor why is governor in the b tier list and not in the legacy tunes because governor can be used on your tower team andre andre used to be very strong but we have a couple of normalized tunes out there that can kind of fend him off and everything so he is become a little bit weaker but he's still valuable and can be used and is still used in a lot of defenses with have payback tunes you know so he will definitely work you pair him with aaron aaron gives boost to payback tunes could become a nightmare when dealing with these guys you know so they still have value we talked about claudio cliff you know we have cliff here cliff is going to be that bodyguard tune um if he goes off he gets really stronger too we have davy diamond with the control mirabelle with the control we have marcus who also is a control tune too when you attack him he gives he has 60 percent chance to stun you so he can be very very tough on that end as well too saint patty priya she is a uh, defensive leader and she boosts the defense of blue tunes you know Ronaldo um is good as well then we have william wayland wayland is what we would call a disarm tune and in this meta with all these strong weapons a disarm tune is definitely necessary there are others better than him but if you're new you can be able to get your hands on wayland rather easily and he'll work out for you lee command lily you know telltale i love telltale um as do others um ophelia brutus rosie um, we have Oceanside Sadiq, Peter Anderson, Rosie Slasher Beta. Now, Slasher Beta is one that you will be able to get from the Faction Assault store, um, but you're going to have to do a lot of grinding to be able to get him. And topping off this list is Winter Madison. Next on my list, we have the A tier list rank. Okay, so A tier list. Who is these guys? 
we have bucket hat cow bucket hat cow just came out he was just released in the gold mythic wheel now i must say this bucket hat cow can be as high as the s tier list if you put him in the right situations he can provide massive control he's very good you definitely want to um look into um getting him because if you don't have a control tune um he's up right now in a gold mythic wheel you can be able to pull him you have a five percent chance to get him which is a lot better than the chances of the other tunes so you definitely want to go ahead and be on the lookout for that next we have the wanderer the wanderer is very good as well okay now he is a ultra tune no he was an advanced tune he was an advanced tune that um you know if he come back around you definitely want to go ahead and get your hands on the wanderer um because he can definitely help out in certain situations so let's go ahead here and look up the wanderer i have him on my roster and we're gonna go ahead and look through the wanderers kit and i'm gonna show you why he's good number one he's a collateral damage tune so when he performs a critical action on this target um they will deal splash damage okay so that's going to provide a little bit of splash damage on that end now if you're going up against you know a payback tune or something like that it can be bad but if you normalize them first wanderer can definitely go off and hit like an absolute tank now on top of that when you go ahead and we look at wanderer's skills here so when he when attacking or being attacked 30 percent chance less likely to trigger enemy weapon effects so what's going to happen is if that weapon is 60 uh percent wander now makes that 60 percent stun 30 percent stun that's how it works it's a flat reduction so that can be able to help out there now un um, unseen team when perform a critical attack 100 percent chance four teammates get camouflaged for two turns so camouflage is super important why because when these um vengeance tunes do payback and buy and, and all these other things that's taking place um when you give out camouflage camouflage is gonna block that so that is why that is important now dismember at the start of each turn 100 percent chance an enemy gets disarmed for two turns now this arm is a debilitating effect okay you can kind of pair this with another tune what um went to harrison boom go off and start doing a bunch of different um damage there and, and causing a lot of problems and next when this character performs a critical attack 100 percent chance the target get crossed here for two turns now when he performs a critical attack he's going to give crosses for two turns that is super duper important because on his signature move this character get elusive so that means that when somebody attack him back um for the rest of combat they gain no ap off of hitting him secondly he makes a critical attack against two enemies for 200 each and he applies trauma to those enemies he's very good very very good and then on top of that when he rushed he attacked three enemies for 250 damage each this character and all teammates get elusive for two turns okay he's good very very good and if you put the right weapon in his hand you know he can definitely be even better so that's what i mean by him being a really good disarm tool so now that's the wanderer then we have clem we all love clem she provides a ton of stun she's very very strong in that aspect gregory the grouch is good too and why is he on the a rank it's because people don't know about these guys we just don't look at them and understand that these guys provide very very good you know help to our team so what does gregory the grouch do i know he's an od but goody but gregory the grouch is a disarming tune okay you need somebody that's gonna disarm when this character um um this character will never trigger a special or epic weapon effect that activates when an enemy character is defending it's very strong when this character perform a critical attack on a human target that target will be disarmed for two turns so he can disarm them as well too this army character lose any third slot effects granted by the weapon. So that 60% sun that's in the third slot, gone once he hits that crit on them. Now, on top of that, enemy resistance are 40% lower against his. So if somebody has 100% resistance, guess what? It's now 60%. Okay, if they have 60% resistance, now guess what? It's 20%. 
So he does a lot of a lot of good there. At the start of each wave, all damage roll teammates get 60% bonus HP. So he's also going to give that bonus HP, which is going to help against some of that reflect that can possibly happen. Um, when attacking, 50% chance to steal two positive effects. Okay, he has built in ransack into his kit. I know it's 50%, but it happens more often than not. So he is going to be able to help out there and his weapon has maim shot so when he has when he hits a critical attack guess what he does he turns that damage that's done into main damage so gregory the grouch is very good and this is why he's here because you can use him and help as a control tune we have laupo rudolph shiva why is rudolph shiva on the a tier list because we have a leader that has just come into the game that is really gonna turn these guys into a nightmare against your mid to lower level um defenses that you face so we have sam and tom titan okay we know who titan is titan is very good he still hits like a truck he can be as high as the s tier list and titan normalizes so he is really good we have wankford ty ty is up here burn okay um michelle infection molly she's resin people and she's giving guardian shield she's very good molly can be as high as the s tier list she is a very very good tune we have jeremiah james eugene kyle marge martinez ty reese you know when you put these guys in combination when you put the tyrese and martinez in combination they can work very well too because martinez gives boost to the um yellow tunes thanksgiving dale high as the s tier list thanksgiving dale is very very good every turn he's gonna cleanse somebody of all penalties on your team you know you gotta watch out for that though um but he can really really help and get your guys back into the fight really well pair him with leprechaun abraham who also cleanses so now you have two people on the team that cleanses but leprechaun abraham does a boatload ton of damage so you can definitely use him he was one of the tunes that are out um right now as a part of the holiday event that just recently passed so hang in hang in is in the mythic market i'm going to do a video on the mythic market going over all the tunes within the mythic market hang in is definitely a tune you want to get your hands on because he slaps and he absolutely will decimate a team he's very very good there so that's the a rank tier list now next on the list guys is going to be the s rank tier list now some of these guys on here you're looking you like well why is holiday carl up here what is christmas carol do? why is trader up here because these guys are relevant and they are very 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 good you need them okay why is holiday carl important because there's tons tons of medics that are running around right now and he stuns medic he is a medic nightmare he's very very good definitely could add him into the rotation on one of your teams and because we have a leader in the game now um easter erica who is going to help with the holiday heroes can become a problem there's some very very strong holiday heroes out there such as sophia so yeah you definitely want to look into that now off duty rick very strong leader um does really good with the tough and alert tunes there we have christmas carol ghost ghost why is he here decap okay he can decap two tunes at a time he's very very strong offensively still trader still the best free to play leader that you can get your hands on bar none it's not even up for discussion trader is there vance why is vance there control he has a lot of control and you definitely want to be able to use him on the offensive end zachary how is zachary s tier bleed baby bleed 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 okay it definitely works we have sebastian milton there we have sheldon sheldon is s tier i don't think he's good tex why do you have sheldon here because sheldon is the newest fire starter tune and this man can get burned up to like 150 200k he's an absolute nightmare sheldon's very good georgia control we have Nora. we know what she do overhill two tune dr denise just came into the game um on thursday um she is right here on the s tier list she does a lot for green tunes um i think that she is a very very good leader 
and you can be able to put her out there on the field and help you help your offense last a little bit longer um a couple more turns so i think that is good there then we have Ju, um carl 2000 he just keeps reviving he is very strong too as well laura on the offensive end turn one attack teams you have to build laura into that team jesus 2000 a nightmare he's very very strong we have agent 46 decap argos burn stuff down and then we have eric you pair him with aaron ah you have some problems going on brewing there then we have craig here craig is a eris destroyer if you have him on your offensive team he could definitely run through and destroy eris for you and keep her from reviving as well too winter marcus good control leader commander giant oh he's not good yes he is he's very good i know it is a slow death process but that infection is nothing to play with and he has heal reduction he's nuts go ahead and check out my video where i'm running through the roadmap using commander john and you can see the power that he is capable of so we have that there east of jesus pair well with denise new tune in the game got to get a little bit more under the belt to see how he's going to work out protect the air and then we have raiden to top off this list now next and final list is my s plus tier list rank okay these are the absolute best tunes within the walking dead road to survival bar none we're not even asking questions i know you see some older tunes up here and you're wondering why because they slap so we're starting off with mike mike hill reduction infection you need him he is very strong still he is not going anywhere they've tried to counter him they can't he's very strong easter eva is good why there's tons of tanks running around and she have one of the strongest kits there is for free to play as a matter of fact easter eva may be the best free to play that we've had in a long time so let me go ahead and show you what her kit looks like and why easter eva is still so strong so Let's go ahead and view her max. Now, she has amp, okay? This is her weakness. Why? Because, you know, uh, if you have exhaust out there, she has amp, she's getting AP. It's unnaturally gain AP that can kill her. But if you're facing teams that's not exhaust, she's absolutely nuts, all right? Because she's gonna get her rush turn one. Spirit, 20% um, healing performed by her is gonna be granted as bonus HP. At the start of each turn, 100% chance this character gets a guardian shield. So here's what's gonna happen. She's gonna get a guardian shield first, she's gonna rush she's gonna kill the tanks that tank especially if it's peacekeeper will reflect that damage and then it's going to be blocked because she'll have a guardian shield that's how it works so we have Easter Eva there with that guardian shield next at the start of each turn 80 percent chance an enemy with the tank roll get negative 50 percent defense so one of them tank roll guys gonna get negative 50 percent defense spot that target kill them destroy them instantly because isa eva is very very strong now at the start of each turn this character heals for 100 percent of their max hp so she is going to heal for 100 percent of her max hp now on top of that she's also going to give bonus bonus hp to tombs because she is healing all right so that's what we have there for isa eva next single target she deals 400 damage she is like a truck um removes um that enemy has defensive down block removed and gets negative 50 defense for one turn and then when she rushes she removes 100 percent of bonus hp and then she hits a line for 800 percent damage that's flat damage cannot be reflected now why is it also important it's important because she has tank buster on her gun so this character gets a hundred percent attack when rushing an enemy with the tank roll this is why she shreds and why she is in the s plus tier list okay next we have peacekeeper we all know peacekeeper we all hate him we're not going to talk about him he is the bane of our existence at times i mean even though it's gotten easier for us to deal with him we already know eris problem okay she was a war of champion tune two war of champions ago and she is very very strong still axel why is axel up here because he is a very 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 strong tune very strong so let's go ahead and look at axel so we can see why axel is going to land up here on his tier list 
Now, Axel is a devastating blow tune. So when he performs a critical attack, it removes all bonus HP from that target and that target gets heal reduction. This is important because if you kill that target, heal reduction is gonna act as a decap for two turns. Most people might not know that, but yes, it acts as a decap for two turns. So meaning if somebody was to revive them because they have heal reduction for two turns, they can't be healed. When that reviver goes to revive, it's not going to revive them because of the heal reduction that's being applied. Now, 30% less likely to trigger effects from the weapons. So he's going to go right around some of those very strong stun weapons. On top of that, when attacking an enemy with bonus HP, 100% chance that the enemy gets 35% defense for, for two turns. When performing a critical hit, 100% chance that enemy gets crosshair. When performing a critical hit, this character also gains 50% HP. Now, with this character and all adjacent teammates get a guardian shield. So when he goes to do his uh, signature move, boom, the guardian, guardian shield is applied to the people who are adjacent to him. You wanna put him next to your strongest attackers. So they get that guardian shield and then you can go through and try to do some more damage, get some kills and that reflect damage will not come against your strongest tombs. That's how it works. You can be able to use that in that way there. And then also too, this character gets 50% attack for two turn, remove all positive effects from a line of enemies. So all of those bonuses that they get from the defenses are gonna be removed. And then he makes a critical attack against that line for 300% damage. So he is very, very, very strong. This is why he has landed up here on the A list. We have Circuit, Raven is a monster. Off duty Shane, the still one of the best you know pay to play um leaders that you can get in the game offensive leaders slash alpha good on the defense thanksgiving sophia she slaps she slaps and she is the new she slaps she's very 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 strong if you she come around again get your hands on her she's really good winter harrison a absolute beast i have a video on him as well too yuletide ezekiel's good for control carson very strong defensive addition passing over davy he gives halo and then he also reduces attack he is tough as a leader now easter erica she is a s plus tier list tune why is she s plus tier list because of the holiday heroes okay she gets 50 percent attack to holiday heroes this is gonna be nuts because we also have holiday carl and Carl gives 60% attack to Holiday Heroes. So you put her and Carl in the team because the 50% is in her leadership skill and Carl's 60% is in his passes, they stack. Devastating. And Sophia is, guess what? A Holiday Hero. Nuts. You could turn one some teams, man, with that three piece combination there. So, definitely wanted to look out for that. And then next, we have Sarge. Sarge is very strong as St. Patty Day. Rosita is strong as well, too. This is rounded out my tier list for the month of April, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. Let me know what you would do with your tier list down in the comments. This your boy, Just Call Me Text. Peace.